Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another Minnesota Twins game review. It has been a couple of days, but we are back here now. Uh, I've just been busy, and man, what a game it was today. The Twins end up losing. They leave the bases loaded with two outs in the bottom of the ninth inning. Bases loaded. Kyle Garlic is up and hits one that probably would have gone out in, I don't know, half the ballparks at least. It was to a pretty deep part of Target Field at the warning track, and it is caught by Merrifield. So a pretty disappointing end to this game, but a very good game nonetheless. Just a little bit disappointing. Ah, the Twins have had like three opportunities this year that I can think of where they have come up probably, I mean, 5, 10, 15 feet short of winning the game on a home run. So a little bit disappointing there. But uh, overall, a pretty good game. The Twins just couldn't couldn't get the job done. So we're going to talk about that. The Royals win 7-3. Uh, the Twins are still in first place, which is obviously the best news. Um, they are 28-19, and four and a half games up on the White Sox. And who do the White Sox play today, actually? I'm not sure they play against the Cubs tonight. So um, we'll see if they win that one. We'd still be four games up. So... Not bad, but again, these are the bad teams that you would wish you could uh, do better against. And I believe the Twins did win yesterday, which is good. But they lost on, what day was that, For uh, Thursday? And they lost on Wednesday. So, really, they've lost now three of their last four. Not good. Not great. Um, obviously you're still in first place and I think the White Sox have been struggling just a little bit too. I know they won a couple of games here, but we're four and a half games up. I wouldn't be too worried about it. Just a, a little bit disappointing. So let's break down this game. Uh, Brady Singer is his name, I believe, right? Is that right? Brady Singer? Yeah. Okay. Brady Singer pitched well. And honestly, I remember a couple of years ago, uh, he was a first round pick. He's their ace. I mean, right? He is their ace. Now, that's not saying a lot for Kansas City, but he has pitched two very good games against the uh, Twins in the last two weeks. Um, the one last week he pitched was the big comeback win that we had, and obviously it wasn't his fault. Uh, today, though, he pitched good again, five and two-thirds innings, six hits, and three runs. Compare that to Archer, who is now 0-2 on the season. He's got a 4.19 ERA, but four innings pitched, seven hits, three earned runs, there was um, an error that allowed two runs to score, um, or that went unearned. So that that's not great, especially when you only look at his strikeout totals. He only had one strikeout today. That's not great. And I think, I don't know if it was him or a combination of a couple people, Witt Jr. had three hits today. I think they were all doubles too. So like that just tells you the pitching staff has not been great, um, especially Archer. He's only getting you four innings. He's not striking guys out. His ERA is north of four. Giving up some lot of hits. Like They were scattered today, but still giving up a lot of hits. Not what you want to see from Archer. I think he is our five, but doesn't matter. Especially, I think, with uh, our, our guy, what's his name? Ryan. <laughs> I couldn't think of it for a second. Uh, with Ryan out on the COVID list, like we, we've got to step up a little bit, and Archer did not. So very disappointing day for him. Uh, Manaya and Moran, they are guys who were called up from AAA, so they did well, I think. Um, Manaya probably you would have liked to see him throw a little bit better in two and a third inning, gave up two runs. Uh, walked a guy, struck out a guy, but really, I guess not that bad. So he's probably not, uh, you know, a, a real major leaguer. Moran, again, did well, uh, did not give up a run, but these are guys from AAA. You can't really expect that much from them. Um, and I thought it was interesting that they would pitch today, but the Twins just hung around. They were never in control of this game at all. So I don't know if that was just kind of the burner day. If like I don't know, I don't, I really like this is probably our best lineup: Buxton, Arise, Correa, Polanco, Kepler, Larnack, Sanchez, Urshela, Gordon. That's probably our best lineup. And like I'm sure they're going to get rest tomorrow because we like to rest guys on Sunday. So it just. Are we really putting together our best team? That's kind of what my question is. Um, I don't know. I really don't know. I'd love to know your thoughts on that. But Duffy, Duffy in like four or five games this season has an ERA of 19. Now, he didn't allow a run today in the ninth, so that did help that drop a lot. But 
he's got a six, a 4.66 ERA. He's blown two games in this last, or not blown two games, but he's blown two games this season. Uh, one against the Royals. And yeah, he is, he has not been good either. He's probably our worst overall. Like he, out of Cano, who got uh, DFA'd, um, Duffy has probably been our worst pitcher this year. He's been good, but he's also been really bad. So I don't know. I don't know how I feel about Duffy. I'm not a huge fan, but he did okay today. And I, I'm just, I saw that ERA, 18.9. I was like, holy cow. Uh, but let's talk about hitting. Uh, Casey got a run in the first. Um, and the Twins were like 24 and 5, I think, when they scored first. So obviously, um, 24 and 5, their record is 28 and 19. A lot of games where they don't score first, they lose. So today they did not score first. They ended up losing. Um, they scored a run in the second inning, and that was on a Larnack bomb. Uh, that was good. I'm a huge fan of Trevor Larnack, and I believe it was his second home run of the season. Yes, it was. Uh, that was a deep fly ball. I was pretty happy with that, and it got us tied. Then, the uh, I actually left. I went to a graduation party with my sister, and I come back, and I was, I think it was the top of the sixth inning, and it was uh, five to one, and I was like, oh, what happened? Um, as Witt Jr. hit a double, uh, there was another single and another double in there by Merrifield, so the Royals just were hitting around. Again, Archer just struggling a little bit, and same with uh, Manaya, but uh, five one. Then in the sixth inning, the Twins came back, and Ryan Jeffers, I did not actually see this, but Ryan Jeffers had a single. That scored two runs. And then in the ninth inning, which we just talked about, uh, let's break it down play by play. Uh, they bring in, the Royals bring in um, Staumont. Josh Staumont, he faces Nick Gordon in the top of the lineup. So this is the this is the guys to do it. Nick Gordon got really cheesed on strike three I think it's too close to take but there was a little hesitation there and that umpire calling him strike three on a fastball at like 96 miles an hour on the inside corner did not like that call but probably too close to take there so Gordon strikes out Buxton just does not look like Buxton he broke his 0 for 30 streak by the way um he had a double in the first inning broke his 0 for 30 streak he is still slugging 554 which is second in the American League, only behind Trout, after going 0 for 30. That is insane. That tells you how good he was at the beginning, the first, like, 20 games of the season. And even going 0 for 30, he is still a great player. But today, he, again, was just over-anxious. Not, it's not over-anxious at the plate, but he just doesn't look like himself. And I think, I mentioned this with Lewis in a video a couple weeks ago, Buxton really looks like he's trying to swing up and... That's just not working for him. He needs to be hitting more doubles, and he flew out. So there were two outs in the ninth. Then Arise gets a single. He is such a good hitter. Correa got a single. Polanco walked on a full count, loaded the bases, and Garlic, like I said, got a curveball, missed it. Also got another curveball, missed it. And then he got another curveball, hit it, and it was just off the end of the bat, but he's a strong dude, and it went to one of the deepest parts of the park, and it was caught at the wall. Like I said, 5, 10 feet. That ball is probably out, and we have a tie game. But ugh, just too many times this year, the Twins just can't quite get it done. Like, they're winning games by a, a slim margin. They're scoring, okay, they're scoring like five runs a game on average. The last, like, four or five games, though, they've only scored, like, two or three, so a little bit concerning there. But they've scored five runs on average. Then, um... So they're still winning. They're either winning, you know, by a small average or they somehow score 15 runs um, or they lose by a small average. They don't get blown out, which is really good. Um, that's positive. But they just got to tweak a few things, get some hits together. They had 11 hits. Both teams had 11 hits, but the Twins had three runs. The Royals had seven. That just kind of tells you how scattered the hits were and leaving guys on base. Uh, the Twins were one for eight. They left 11 guys on and the Royals were four for 11, left eight guys on. So again, not great by either team, but the Royals were able to get it done when they needed to. Uh, Buxton went one for five today. Luisa Rice still batting 359. Ladies and gentlemen, I love that. Uh, and he got on base uh, three more times today. Correa, three for five. Good for those two guys. I love Arise in the second spot, too. Um, I think, honestly, I really, honestly, 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 I'm going to put a hot take out there here. 
I think Arias could be at bat in the three spot. You have Buxton. I think Buxton is better lower in the lineup, so he's not the one starting it off. If you're not going to bat Arias one, you bat him three. You bat Buxton four, Correa five, um, and then you have, you know, like Celestino or Gordon or somebody bat one. You could even do Lewis one. Um, and then I think Lewis two. But basically, you put the guys who hit better in the lower part of the lineup. doesn't matter if they're power hitters, because if it's a single with the bases loaded and you just run the carousel once, the next guy comes up with the bases loaded and you still get a run. That's my opinion. You don't need the power hitter guy in the three spot, but that's a topic for a different video. Anyway, Correa and Arias had a really good day. Arias has been good all season, and Correa has got his average up to 289, by the way, too. Polanco and Kepler went 0 for today. Garlic came in, went 1 for 3, um, almost had that home run. Larnack 1 for 2 with his dinger. Sanchez 0 for 2. Both of uh, Kepler and Sanchez came out of the game for a couple different reasons. Um, it was hot out there today. I think that probably had a factor in both of them. Urshela went 0 for 4 and Gordon 1 for 4. So that is the game. The Twins lose, but they'll be back tomorrow, right? Always tomorrow. And hopefully they can uh, still muster, I think, a split. So it is what it is, but hopefully the White Sox lose and the Twins can figure it out for tomorrow. That's all I got for you guys. See you tomorrow. Bye.